hi and welcome to excel data entry form now i'm going to demonstrate how it works so if i click on this very checkbox there that is what you see it actually populated one part of my list box and i can add the date add the the coordinator's name items and on the other side i can add size of item cost of the items number sold total and the, even the initials of these coordinators there we go now the next thing we can do is we can reset or we can exit but well, first thing first i'm going to add new data let's add new data to this but before adding new data i'd like to show you guys one thing on the spreadsheet and right here my worksheet or spreadsheet that is the last of the data right there okay we did name queens park or well, let's see queens park okay and i intend to add more data to this so let's come in here so i'm gonna go come right here so the first thing i'll do is let's select a states one of those states in uh, okay let's go for Queensland one of those states in Australia so that's gonna be Queensland and the dates I'm gonna enter today's date that will be hundred and hundred eight okay let's enter or dollar sign here and dollar sign here that is Australian dollar and the initial of this guy L so all I just need to do then is to add but before I add I'm gonna show you guys my spreadsheet right there so let's move it up a little bit so that you guys can see it so I'm gonna click on add now so let's click on add and there we go the details is there on the system okay so so we have that off Queensland let's close that so that you see it properly and let's minimize this so that you guys can see what I'm talking about there we go that's it right there okay so what I'm gonna do now is to show you guys how the reset function works as well so let's go back to my form all right if we select the reset there we go and let's let's add whatever data in here then you see how that works you click on reset there that reset every single item that you have or that I have in there and the exit also works as well so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and uh, we'll put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Okay guys, let's start a new project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this very file. Just click on this. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to save it right in here. Okay. Let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it data entry form and file type that's going to be enable macro here okay excel macro enable and let's click on save there we go there okay the next thing is i'm going to select this developer tab if you don't have your developer tab all you need to do is click on file go to options and you select customize ribbon and make sure your developer right here is checked once it's checked click on ok there we go now you should be able to see your developer menu up there okay i'm now going to click on visual basic right here and then select insert user form there we go now the properties click on the properties of the user form and let's define the size of this form 
I'm going to make the height about 700 and I might as well change the back color as well. Let's change that to green. Yeah, and the width. I'm going to make the width 1030. Now, the next thing is select this frame and just paste it right there. Okay, and right underneath here, I need another frame here. I'm gonna need three of those. One, but I need to change this color of that very frame. But first thing first, let's just, yeah, might as well change the color that very frame to that yeah that's good click and drag that's two and three now I'm going to copy this I need to change the color of that as well really let's come in here and just change that to something grayish yeah no that's too great right now the next thing I like to do is I'm going to add a text box. First of all, let's add a label here and change the color of that very label, the font color. And what about the size? Let's make the size something readable. Make that bold about 48. And let's change the text content in there. Excel. Let's adjust it that much so that you guys can see what's going on. And let's delete this frame. Let's come in here. Let's caption. Get rid of that. And get rid of this as well. There we go. Get rid of all of this text on the frame. There. And move this down. Right. So that's fine. Now the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to now add labels here and a text box. No, that's a command button. The text box and change the size to the font size. Let's see the font size of that label. Make that bold and make that maybe 20. Yeah, and just copy two, three. Select it all, copy it across. One here, and another one here. There we go. Now, here, I need to increase this. I now need a list box. One list box here. Copy that same list box and bring it right here. Yeah. And in between the list box, I'm going to need I'm going to need some uh, checkbox. Yeah. One. Need about nine of those. I only need nine. Okay. I now need three buttons. One, two, and three. There. All right. So if I run my system now, this is how it looks like. So all I just need to do is to tidy it up, and I'll get back to you guys shortly. So let's speed that up. So the first thing is tidy it up by giving all of this a name and this one is going to be let's call that state this will be date and so on so let me speed that up and get back to you guys alright guys this is how it all looks like now so let me run it so that you can see it but nothing is happening here so all I want to try and achieve is when I click on this chain box I want you to populate I want you to add the data that I have on my on the worksheet here for the state 
update coordinate and so on so the first thing is let me double click on exit and just enter the following lines of code for my exit so declare a variable there and message box so you can confirm if you want to exit there that's the exit lines of codes so let's go back in there the next one I like to take care of is to take care of the reset double click on the reset and right there for the reset the first thing is let's say txt uh, that will be state dot text equals clear so I'm going to repeat the same thing exactly the same thing for the date and all of the components I have on board date there and let's speed that up as well and right there guys those are the lines of code for reset I've also reset the the checkbox as you can see okay so that is taken care of so let's see what is left you see add double click on add and right in here I'm gonna to have to speed that up as well those are the lines of code that we add the data that I have on this text box and so on straight onto my spreadsheet okay I've added all the names of the each of these components there now one thing I like to achieve is or I would like the end user once we click on any of these checkbox I like all of this data that I have here I want it to be displayed on the on the list box so if I double click on this so what I want to do is I'm going to say if let's get rid of this and copy this then start all over now if chk state dot value equals true then I want the list box list box one dot rule source equals that's going to be my first sheet as sheet one okay sheet one and that will be iPhone a one column I think I have up to I 830 rows there that's the very first one and else what will happen is list box one equals clear and if there so that's for the very first list box so let's try it first I'm gonna run that if I click on this there we go okay so the next one I just want to be able to click on this and I want you to come to rule number two so let me close that double click on date in the case of date all I just want is the list box itself dot dot count yeah column count in this case the column is going to be column two so if I run that now click on the state column two gives me the date and so on so this one will be column three so double click on this and that will be column number three let's copy this and paste it there paste that becomes three the next one becomes four number four there we go now I'm going to copy all of this I have up to four now so for the next one it's going to be this so I'm going to add five five columns here so double click on size paste that in there just change this to two 
this box too and this is going to be check size of item changes to check size of item right okay now the next thing is copy that come right here double click on this and this will be column 2 here and this is to list box 2 as well copy come to the next one that will be 3 and the next one here that is 4 and finally 5 there we go okay and let's look at that of list box number two because I want this to start from E. I'm going to change that to E. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Minimize this. Okay, from here to here, that's the very first item that I want on the list box one. And from here to here, that's the those are the items or the columns I want on list box 2 so this starts from E why this one starts from A that is why I have A on the first one and E on the second checkbox so back here if you look at my first my second list box it starts from E why the very first one starts from A right so if I run it now I should be able to add all of those data look at that and there there we go so it's working the way I want so let's add some data in there so let's say is Western Australia there and date I think the font is a little bit too big but that's okay well, let's reduce yeah let's reduce the font test it all one more time reduce that very font to 18 yeah yeah that, that's fine for that okay okay all is done so let's run it one more time and see there we go Yeah, so now that is going to be Western Australia, and date is going to be today's date. The coordinator, let me say, you yes, yeah, and here. That's going to be item Q4. Size of this item is going to be a large one. And how many are we talking about? Let's go for maybe the cost of this item is going to be $11. And how many of those do we want? I say five. And the total cost would be 55 pounds. And initials, no, fifty-five dollars. Initials in this case is going to be E. There we go. All we just need to do now is to click on Add. There. So with that, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now, and please do subscribe.